Patrick's Day is this upcoming weekend, and Yard House is celebrating in a big way. Garrett Jones, general manager of Yard House, joins us this morning to talk about all of the fun and food that they have planned. Good morning. Good morning, Ellie. Thanks so much for having us. Of course. So happy to have you because I hear there's fun things happening at Yard House. So tell us all about what you guys have planned. Absolutely. So we're doing a great St. Patrick's Day menu, uh, but instead of just celebrating one day on St. Patrick's, we're running this the entire month into April. Uh, so we have got some great food menu items, some great new drinks that we've added to the menu just to get into the celebratory mood. Okay, uh, perfect. And, and invite people in. Wonderful, and I love that because you know maybe if they can't make it the day of, right. that doesn't mean that you're excluded from the celebration. Not so at all. You guys have a new menu that's going to be coming out in celebration of this, and we're going to be making something on that menu, right? We are. We're going to be making our shepherd's pie. Uh, it's a traditional Irish dish. Uh, but we're putting our own yard house signature twist on it Ooh. Like we do with a lot of food. Okay, so. and, and what is that signature twist? Um, we are going to use ground lamb. Uh, and we use an herb blend that a lot of times uh, traditional shepherd's pie would omit. Uh -huh. uh, and then instead of just topping it with mashed potatoes at the end, we're doing a personal pie. So you've got your own. It'll still have mash on it, uh, <laughs> but a little more hearty and, and delicious. Oh, hearty and delicious. Okay, two of my favorite oh. words. All right, well, let's get started. Awesome. So what are the ingredients? So real simple, we're going to start with uh, some olive oil in a pan, and then we've got uh, some garlic, onion, and... Uh, celery and carrot, and so we're just gonna put that in there. I'm gonna let that cook down a little Ooh, bit. The garlic so. smells good. Yeah, we like to do big flavors and get a lot of aroma working so that, you know, everybody can do this at home. And we're gonna do this step by step so uh, all of our viewers can actually uh, do this at home. Attempt it themselves. Yeah, all not? right, I love it. Uh, so we're gonna let that cook down a little bit. Okay, and while that's cooking, tell us what else you guys have planned for your menu. Uh, so we have a great uh, whiskey glazed salmon uh, that we'll show a little bit later with a coal cannon potato, which is kind of a traditional Irish uh, potato. And then uh, we have a Guinness uh, cheddar braised beef melt. So it's Guinness infused oh, wow. cheddar cheese. Uh, that we use in that dish, which is awesome. That and, sounds yeah. right up my alley. And then we've got a couple wing op options. So we have a whiskey black pepper wing. Okay. Uh, and we also have that in our Gardein product, which is a vegetarian product. So right. It's available for which, anybody. I'm not vegetarian, but when right. I go to Yard House, I usually order the Gardein, yes. the hot wings, because yep. they're amazing. They are. They're great. And it's uh, a completely vegetarian dish, which is nice, uh, including the buffalo sauce in that one. But yeah, this is a, a great dish for our vegetarian friends. Perfect. Yeah. Then, then and they're not excluded. I love right. it. Okay, so, right, so for those... That cooking down a yes, little bit. Yes, those are cooking down. So we'll keep talking Yard House. Yeah. I'm a big fan, of course. It's awesome. so easily accessible in Waikiki. For those who have never been, where are you guys located? So we're on the beach walk, Waikiki Beach Walk. It's 226 Lewis Street. Uh, and with could really right off of the Embassy Suites Hotel lobby. Mm -hmm. So very easily to get to, uh, convenient. Perfect. Yeah. And then you can park there as well, right? You can right? park at the Embassy Suites. We do valet. It's uh, $6 for four hours of validation. Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right, and definitely well worth it because, again, Yard House has great options and great options for St. Patrick's Day. So we have, what do we have over here? Because so, this is what we're making, right? Right. This is okay. what the it's going to look like before it goes into the oven for everybody. Ah. So we would take the filling that we're making here. Uh, put it into this pastry dough, uh, and then uh, we're going to brush it with egg wash before it goes into the oven, and we cook that. Uh, if you want to do it at home, it'd be about 16 minutes in a 350-degree oven. Okay, wonderful. All right, so we have about a minute left. Perfect. What are the next ingredients so that we're going to put in? So we're going to go ahead and put in our lamb. Ooh. So we're using ground lamb in ours. We'll get that working. And I, I, I'm throwing this one at you. I don't know if you do, but do you have any Irish ties? Uh, no, okay. no, no, no. How did I'm, you learn how to make these dishes? They, they do a very great job of setting us up. We have a great okay. culinary team uh, that creates these menus for us, and uh, they're available at every yard house, which is great. Oh, so, perfect. You know, if you have to take a quick trip mainland, we got this working. Uh, and then we're going to do parsley, uh, thyme, and rosemary, some sage right there. Put that and that in. was the, you were saying, one of the twists that you guys Yeah, did just there. to put in kind of an herb packet almost, if you will, and that really brings out a lot of these great flavors. Yum. I think the most fun is the Guinness, so I don't know if you want to pour I? the Guinness in. Yeah, sure. absolutely. All right, let's do it. Put that in. This is straight Guinness. This is straight Guinness. All right, there we go. So that's going to help kind of make this, that hearty, um, that shepherd's pie real heartiness. So right. we get all that working. 
Uh, and then we have some diced ripped potatoes. Okay. Start. Oh, so, yeah, you can throw that potatoes. in. You can kind of smell that Guinness, too. All that's of it coming smells through. amazing. I don't think I've ever had a shepherd's pie before. Yeah, this is a great one to come in and try. Ooh, okay, I'm definitely excited for this. And then we top it off with. So, this is actually going to be a, a demi glaze, okay. which is um, beef um, and then peas. So, Yum. that's going to thicken that up. Perfect. Kind of put that in there. And so, we would just want everybody to kind of cook that down. Um, right. Until it gets all mixed in, it'll thicken it up a little as well. Wonderful. And then, oh, and yeah. if, okay, and again, this is something that, as you can see, it was really easy to put together. And this is something that you can do at home Absolutely. yourself. Absolutely. And then this is the filling for your shepherd's pie. So, how do you, I guess, so put it all in there? Of, yeah, a lot of times traditionally shepherd's pie is just going to be your meat filling, and then you put uh, a mashed potato over the top of it. Okay. So. Uh, we decided to put ours in a pastry crust. I love it. Uh, and then we hit the edges with the tines of the fork to kind of give it that crimped look. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we'll egg wash it before we put it into the oven. And you were oh. saying, when we actually go to Yard House and order this, this is a full serving. You get this. Yeah, whole that's your pastry. own personal shepherd's pie. You don't have to share that with anybody. Okay, I absolutely love yeah. it. Okay, and again, this is going to be one of their Irish inspired dishes on their menu that's. Special for St. Patrick's Day, but it's also going to continue until April 8th. April 8th, so we kind of want to take that through uh, March Madness. And Perfect. Yep, have that available. All right, well, we're going to talk more about their pub fair menu as well as some of their drinks that they have offered special for St. Patty's Day. And Garrett Jones, general manager of Yard House, joins us once again this morning to talk about all of the fun food and drinks that they have planned for St. Patrick's Day and beyond. Good morning. And beyond, yes. Thank you. Welcome back, Kelly. Okay. Um, so, I will start maybe with the shepherd's pie so we can see that Let's finished do it. product, right? We cooked all of uh, that great uh, filling. It's oh. been in a pastry dough, it's now been baked, and then we're gonna top it with our Parmesan mashed potatoes and a rich brown gravy. Uh, sprinkle with a little parsley. So this is a winner because okay, even before you baked the other one, that was looking good in itself. But this, oh my gosh! And what type of gravy did you top it? It's off it's a kind of a rich brown gravy. So we mm. use that demi glace that we used inside the filling, and we make a gravy with that and some au jus. And just, oh my goodness, yeah. I love it. Okay, so this was the one that we made in the last. Right. Segment. What are the other ones that we have in front so of us? So we also have our whiskey glazed salmon. Uh, it's going to be the black pepper whiskey glaze. Uh, there's a side of that whiskey glaze on the side as well. And then these are our coal cannon potatoes. So we basically have taken our mashed potatoes. We've added bacon, kale, cabbage, butter, salt, and pepper, and mixed that into them. So it's a really great um, kind of guilty pleasure when you're eating a piece of salmon, right? Just to get that rich, decadent uh, mashed, pota mashed potato. Talk about loaded, right? right? It is, yeah, that's a loaded <laughs> mashed potato right there. Okay, and um, then our last one that we have over there. The other one that we brought to feature is our uh, Guinness cheddar braised beef melt. So we actually use a Guinness infused cheddar cheese. Ooh. Uh, and then it's a short rib, and then we just kind of make it into a melt. Uh, and that's going to be served with our, our tomato bisque. Yum. Okay, and of course, to go along with all of this great food, you have to have some Right, you kind of have to mix it up, and you know, along with the theme and what we have going on, we wanted to make some Irish-inspired cocktails, um, and you know, we didn't have to change a lot. So this one over here is our uh, Jameson Margarita. Ooh, Jameson and Margarita. Jameson Margarita, right. So we just are taking the tequila out, and we're actually using uh, Jameson's cask mates, uh, the stout cask mates. So oh, okay. it's actually Jameson that's been uh, matured in uh, stout nice. barrels. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, and then this one, which is probably my favorite. In fact, it's something that I will ask for year round, uh, even though it's only on the menu a limited time, is our Dublin Mule. So it's a twist on a uh, Moscow mule. So we're using Jameson Irish whiskey in this, uh, our uh, house made ginger beer. Ooh. And then we're also using uh, Guinness in it as well. <laughs> Guinness, yes, yeah, so there's Guinness in Dang. there as well. So double up on the yeah, Dublin. Yeah, double up on the Dublin. So, <laughs> I like it. Uh, it's a, a great twist on a classic cocktail, but one that really fits with the theme of. Uh, what we've got going on. Definitely. For, uh, because yeah, again, Patrick's this Day. is St. Patrick's Day. Now, I heard that there's also available by request on St. Patrick's Day a green beer. Is that true? That is absolutely okay. true. We will turn any beer green for you uh, that you want, and it's a fun way to kind of celebrate the day. Uh, obviously, there's beers that work better uh, being <laughs> green. Uh, something that's really dark, you're not going to pick up that color, but those lighter beers, including uh, Guinness Blonde, which we're featuring oh, for this as go. well. 
uh, we can turn that green for you. Okay, I'm going to be honest. And I am a Guinness drinker. I didn't even know they had a blonde. Yeah, they've got a blonde. So, oh, my goodness. Uh, so there you go. It. You can yep. double up with the Guinness and then the green. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Well, first off, this all set looks so good. I think I'm going to try a bite of that one over Absolutely, there. Absolutely, okay? yeah. Please okay, do. Okay, and then as I do, because there's a couple more menu items. There's a couple items. more menu so items. So tell us what those are. Perfect. So we also have a... Uh, Corned beef and cabbage egg roll, so that we made a filling with corned beef, cabbage, Swiss cheese, uh, and put it in an egg roll wrapper. We fry that, and it's served with a, a Dijon aioli. Mm -hmm. So really great dipping sauce for that. And then we have the whiskey black pepper wings available as well. Keep oh. talking, keep All talking, because right. I Perfect. need to eat this whole so. thing. No, this is amazing. <laughs> it's really great. It's so juicy yeah. and delicious. It is, and the, uh, oh. the Guinness cheddar is, is an amazing thing. So. And the cheddar uh. pairs so well with the tomato bisque, yep. too. Oh, well, I'm the only one eating this, so I'm going to double dip. It's okay. Yeah, you can have as oh. much as you want. That's why we brought it. Mm. Uh, we're just excited to be able to offer mm -hmm. this. And, uh, you know, if you're unfamiliar with Yard House or it's been a while, we want to make sure you come back in. We want to show you a great time. Uh, and put that service level over the top for those Definitely. folks coming in. So. Okay, so make sure you guys head on out. And again, the great thing about this menu, it's not just offered through St. Patrick's Day, it's through April 8th. April right? 8th, yeah. All right, make sure you head on out. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you this for morning. having us. We appreciate it. Of course, and we appreciate the yeah, amazing absolutely. food. All right, happy St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We'll see you soon. All right. All right.